This is Billy Diaz again and I wanted to share to you my story on how I moved from Chicago down here to Florida. Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be So we're here in one of the best beaches in the Pinellas County here in St. Petersburg, Florida. It was a very big adjustment. Coming down from one of the coldest cities in America, going down here to one of the hottest places here in America. And it is the state of Florida. I would say it's one of the difficult decisions I had to do before when I was deciding if I'm gonna go down here in Florida. It was back then I had my former girlfriend who lives there and I was thinking of what if if I'm gonna move down here and and we will have a long distance relationship. And my work asked me to move down here to Florida so I don't have a choice. And apparently it was a long discussion towards us and we had a talk for the whole day to decide on whether I should go or not. And unfortunately, I had to decide to move down here to Florida because of the work and opportunity that is coming up to me. And I wanted to try the weather, which is a lot better from Chicago. If you saw my vlogs, I have eczema. Eczema is one of, uh, it's like an autoimmune problem in which your skin dries so fast that to a part that when I was in Chicago when it was very cold my skin is so dry and scaly and when it itch it is bleeding sometimes or I couldn't sleep and I need to scratch my skin I got it from uh, the back from my back from my shoulders and my arms so it was kind of hard So how much do you need to put sands on? Just up to up to this? Uh, up to right ram that where that screw is. Oh, this screw. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, the wet sand make it works better. You better be done before she comes here. Yeah. <laughs> she has to have her on, bro. <laughs> uh, or else you're gonna get a problem. Yeah. <laughs> I was coming from Chicago and I moved last year, last September, and I said to myself, I'm done. I'm good here. Yeah, I don't like cold. Me too. It's too much. It's more than six months of cold. I, I couldn't even feel the sun when I, when I was there in summer. So that was my friend Evan coming from Virginia. It was a big decision for me because of work and also because of the weather that I chose to. <clears throat> so now I'm here in Florida. And uh, I, I guess one of the one of the biggest factor, even if like I got everything that I have here, but still the main big problem is I was away with uh, my former girlfriend. And I think one of the biggest adjustments was because I was I was in a long distance relationship and it took like eight years but then that relationship failed so I tried to keep up with this relationship but then but then this past few days uh, apparently we have different paths right now but I still respect her and I'm still open if you're listening right now during this upload I'm still open you know hopefully I can see it and yeah and you know how much i love you nice wow oh short hey, not, you... not what i'm fishing for <laughs>
So you probably need to put it back. <laughs> oh yeah, I've been throwing them back. Like a baby shark, huh? Yeah, it's a little guy. Oh. But they're strong. Yep. Damn. They got like good teeth. Oh, bye bye, baby shark. <laughs> I guess having a long distance relationship really gonna test you as a person if how strong you are. And for me, uh, it's not just the distance, it's also the communication that I feel that was lacking towards our relationship. And for that, I'm always happy and I'm always grateful to what had happened. But I'm always open, you know, uh, I don't have any problem, I don't have any issues with her, but hopefully we're still gonna meet in the future. Other than that, they don't have a state, state tax in here, so I don't need to worry about it. And I just need to worry about my monthly bills. And the good thing is I have already rented a room, I'm good, I don't have any problem with it. And I would say the one thing that I noticed as far as I was moving here, from Chicago is the most of the prices of the basic commodities are a bit expensive if I compare it to Chicago and also the house prices in here it's a bit expensive 